Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I have an exciting video for you. These are a few fragrances that I have received through PR. So it's kind of like a little mini PR haul. I have the two newest releases from Raja Dev Parfums for women. I also have the new Lantre D from Givenchy release. And I also have the highly anticipated and much asked about Minuit et Demi from Fragrance Dubois. So I hope that you guys are excited to hear my thoughts on these fragrances. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfumes but we also do talk a little bit about lifestyle, home decor, minimalism, decluttering, and other stuff like that. So if that is your thing definitely make sure to head on down and hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so I do apologize for not being um, around as much the last couple of weeks. I've actually been working a lot more and um, just busier in general. Life has kept me busy and I still have been able to keep doing one video per week, which is I think like the normal, um, but it's not my normal, which is like three videos per week. But anyways, I am back today and I have a few fragrances to share with you. As you can see, um, it's actually quite a large um, haul here and all of these were gifted to me or sent to me in PR. So the first thing that I want to share with you is a few fragrance oils which I got from a company called um, Perfume Oil Expressions and actually I've heard about Perfume Oil Expressions from a few subscribers. People have commented about them in the description box and basically what this company does is they do their own version of um, inspired fragrances of higher end and niche fragrances but at a fraction of the price. Um, and as you guys know, I'm not a huge replica fragrance person. I do definitely prefer the real thing for the most part, but I do think that um, the perfume oils are quite beneficial for people who really want the real thing, but they just maybe can't afford the real thing, or they don't want to dish out two or three hundred dollars for a fragrance, but they kind of want to get the same vibe, and I am all about saving money. So the fragrances that they sent me to try out was their version of event is for her their expression of creed event is for her they also sent me a myrrh and tonka from joe malone and lira zerjoff lira which is a very popular one which i have an actual um, decant of and they also sent me herba pura from zerjoff which was a request from me so I have not actually smelt the real Myrrh and Tonka, nor have I smelt the real Creed Aventus for her. But to be really honest, you guys, the real Creed Aventus, the notes did not look like something I would particularly love. I don't love a lot of, um, I don't love a lot of like tropical fresh scents that sort of smell like a drink. You know what I mean? I don't love anything with like the sugar, the mint, the coconut, like those mojito type of scents. And to me, that's kind of what this looked like it would be. And this is a really nice scent, but yeah, it kind of just confirmed for me that um, Creed Aventus is something I don't think I would be interested in. And at one point, believe it or not, I was tempted to blind buy a bottle of Creed Aventus. I'm so glad I didn't. Um, that being said, I will say that all of these oils have pretty good lasting power. They're not like crazy, crazy long lasting, but I would say you probably get at least five or six hours and some of them even longer. Um, so the Herba Pura, this one, as you guys know, I really like the real Herba Pura from Zerjoff. I don't like it enough to get a full bottle. It's basically a very strong sort of a citrusy fragrance with a little bit of a um, creamy, vanilla, kind of a gourmandy aspect of it as well. It's one of the most unique and beautiful citrus scents that I've ever smelled. And this smells very, very similar. I would say this is about 90% similar, 95%. There is something in here that kind of throws me off a little bit, and I'm not really sure what that is. There's something in here that's just not 100% like the real Herba Pura. But if I was to smell this on someone walking by me, that would be the first thing I thought is that they're wearing the actual Herba Pura. It's that similar. And this one has incredible lasting power, as does the real Herba Pura. So that's that one. Um, this is the one that everybody is probably wondering about, which is their expression of Lyra. You guys, this is very, very close to Lyra. Very close. Again, it's about 90 to 95%, but this smells delicious, you guys. I would say if you want Lyra or you want to get a pretty good idea of what Lyra smells like, this is a really good way to go because these oils are very affordable. I will put some prices at the bottom of the screen for you guys. I don't have them all memorized, but they're extremely affordable. You get so much in this little container. 
and these would be perfect to just throw in your purse and carry around with you throughout the day to refresh and they yeah they've got good longevity so I would say if you want to test out Lyra um, this is a really good way to go and it's very very similar to the real thing and finally the last one is Joe Malone's myrrh and Tonka and you guys this one's my favorite like this one again I haven't smelt the real thing but smelling this makes me want to try it almost makes me want to blind buy the real Joe Malone I'm not going to because it's quite pricey yeah I just and I'm also being very very careful and very selective about what I purchase these days to bring into my collection so I don't want to blind buy myrrh and tonka the real thing but this is beautiful this is essentially like um, a soft spicy warm spicy tonka bean vanilla fragrance it is so good it is so delicious it's very unisex I have it on my wrist right now it's just really nice it does have a bit of a masculine touch like I think for me it's probably a little bit too masculine but it's very very sultry very sexy very bold very like black tie affair going out night on the town kind of thing um and yeah definitely very unisex but I really really like this one this is probably my favorite one of all of the ones that they sent me and yeah I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with the fragrances themselves and of course they have really good lasting power so do check out perfume oil expressions if you are looking to save some money and get some really good smelling perfume oils okay so the next one I'll discuss with you guys is the new one from Givenchy and this is L'Entre and I believe it's called Minesim Minissime, Minissime, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'll put the name on the screen for you guys. Um, so this is the newest release from Givenchy, the newest version of Launcher D. This was just released in 2021. And when I first sprayed this, I wasn't sure if this was actually a new release or just like a limited edition bottle because it smells so, so similar to the first Launcher D and to the Launcher D Eau de Toilette. And if you guys remember, I did used to have the Launcher D Intense, which I still think is such a beautiful fragrance, but unfortunately, I didn't love it enough to keep it in my collection. Um, there was something about it that still sort of rubbed my nose the wrong way. And unfortunately, I do have a hard time with the Launcher D fragrances. I have a really hard time with them. There's something about them that just gives me a bit of a headache and just isn't quite my vibe. They're just not something I really reach for, but I do think they're so beautiful. And I think that obviously what one woman doesn't love, another woman absolutely loves. So it just isn't my taste, but I know a lot of people out there love the Launcher D fragrances. So this one, when I sprayed on my skin, I could tell there was something different about it. There's something a little bit fresher about this one. There's something a little bit more spring and summertime about this one. So the notes that you have are bitter orange and ginger in the opening. In the middle, you have orange blossom, neroli, and tuberose. So the same sort of DNA as you had in the original with that really strong tuberose. And then in the base, you have almond milk, musk, patchouli, and vetiver. And I don't know exactly what it is about about the Launcher D fragrances, but I can't really handle them. Um, I think they smell so pretty and they're so sophisticated. They're right up there with Twilly de Hermes. They're right up there with Coco Mademoiselle. They're just one of those sophisticated, bold, boss woman, CEO type of fragrances. They command attention, they're beautiful. They are long lasting, very long lasting. There's something about it that just doesn't rub my nose the right way. So this one smells very similar to the original Launcher D and then picture it having a little bit less of that heady tuberose and a little bit more of a freshness. It has a bit of a fresh spicy and it's got a bit of a citrusy aspect and there actually isn't anything green in the opening but I definitely picked up on a little bit of a green note but actually there's just bitter orange and ginger so it must be that bitter orange that I'm getting um, that kind of gives it that fresh citrusy aspect and then of course you've got the tuberose which is in all of the Launcher D fragrances and I don't know I think that mixed with the patchouli and the vetiver and the ginger there's just something about it that just kind of bugs me and gives me a bit of a headache and I can't do it so um, this is a gorgeous fragrance but I probably will not be keeping it I'm sure that somebody else out there will get a lot of use out of this and will think it's amazing but it's not going to be me but I do think that if you liked the original Launcher D the Launcher D Eau de Toilette definitely try this one if you're looking for a Launcher D but something that's a little bit lighter and fresher for the spring and summer 
This is absolutely beautiful and you might really, really enjoy it. So now let's talk about one from Raja Dove. So as you guys know, if you follow my channel, I have never had a Raja Dove fragrance in my life, in my collection. They are such a beautiful and coveted company, really high quality, um, absolutely beautiful bottles, the craftsmanship, everything about them. If you watch any of the Raja Dove YouTube videos talking about how they come up with their creations and their ingredients and stuff like that, it's honestly just mind blowing. I have been wanting a Raja Dove in my collection for quite a long time. I just haven't really decided which one I wanted to bite the bullet and purchase and I hadn't gotten my hands on any samples. Um, so these two actually were sent to me complimentary from the company. So thank you so much to Raja Dove for um, sending me these fragrances to review for you guys. So these are new releases and the first one here is called Scandal. So admittedly, you guys, I don't love this fragrance. They kind of had asked me like what my tastes were, what kind of perfumes I usually gravitated toward. And I told them that I was really starting to like um, fresh florals and Shepra style fragrances and a little bit more fresh summertime vibe. Um, so this was one that they had thought that I would really like and they selected to send me. Unfortunately, I should have told them also that I don't really love white florals all that much. Um, certain white florals, yes, and if they're done a certain way, yes, but this one is very, very heavy on the white floral and unfortunately it's not quite my taste. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance. I think that if you like white floral fragrances, you would absolutely love this. So in the opening, you have bergamot. In the middle, you have lily of the valley, freesia, gardenia, orange blossom, jasmine, tuberose, and may rose. So a whole lot of white florals and then a little touch of that may rose in there. And then in the base you have orris, sandalwood, and musk. So it does have a bit of a creamy, almost like a creamy woody type of a base to it. The opening of this is absolutely beautiful you guys. I really really like it and again I think if you like white florals, I think you would like this. It's just one of those beautiful, um, sophisticated floral scents that's a little bit soapy and just just a beautiful scent. I mean, there's not much else I can say about it besides it's absolutely gorgeous and it's expertly blended. Really, really nice. It has pretty good lasting power as well. Um, this one lasted me about five, six hours on my skin, which is pretty good for a fresh floral. And um, yeah, I just, I wish that I loved that Lily of the Valley sort of accord that Lily of the Valley Gardenia Tuberose. I wish that that was more my thing because yeah, I just don't think I would wear this. I just don't think it's for me, but if you really like white floral scents and you like a fresh white floral and you want something very classy, very timeless, very elegant, very understated, um, then this would definitely be right up your alley. So I do think that this is a phenomenal fragrance. I don't think it's for me. Um, I do think the bottles and the packaging are absolutely exquisite and I kind of wish that I loved this, but I don't absolutely love this scent. I have two left and I think we're going to finish up with our Raja Dove and then I will discuss the one that probably most people are looking the most forward to hearing me talk about, which is the Minui A Demi. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about Reckless. So the first thing that this fragrance reminds me of when I smell it is Love by Killian. If you have watched my channel, you know that I actually recently decluttered Love by Killian or you knew that I was thinking about decluttering it. I'm not sure if I actually shared that with you guys, but Love by Killian was one that I kind of, it's been on my radar for a long time to let go of. It was just a little bit too sweet. It was too cloyingly sweet. So before I get into the note profile of this fragrance and what it really smells like, picture Love by Killian and then make it a little bit less cloying, a little bit less sugary sweet, not so sugary, caramel, um, synthetic-y sweet. Make it a little bit fluffier and feathery and more effervescent and a little bit more fresh and bring out those floral notes a little bit more. And that's what you have with this. So this is essentially like a lighter, more effervescent, fresher version of Love by Killian and you guys, this is actually so beautiful. So in the top you have bergamot, mandarin, and orange. In the mid you have geranium, may rose, neroli, and jasmine. And then in the base you have coriander, pink pepper, cinnamon, sandalwood, benzoin, vanilla, styrax, and musk. This fragrance is so beautiful, so beautiful. It's really stunning. It's a stunning fragrance. It's, like I say, very, very sweet. It's got those floral components. It's got that neroli in there that gives 
a little bit of a sweet floral aspect. You've got that freshness from the bergamot and the orange. And in the base, instead of having like a caramel vanilla accord, you've got this beautiful benzoin. So it's not so much that sugary, sweet, cloying, um, like overly sweet fragrance like you got with Love by Killian, which was what sort of put me off of Love by Killian, to be honest. It was just almost a little too sweet. This one's a little bit different. This has a bit of an airy quality to it. It's, it's like a thinned out, not thinned out as in it's weak, just thinned out in terms of it's not quite so sugary. It's got that freshness in there. It's got the floral aspect. It's got the sweet gourmand aspect. It's just a really stunning fragrance. Um, yeah, it's in a class in and of its own. It's really beautiful. I also get really good longevity from this, at least six or seven hours, and that's like with one spray. One spray on the back of my hand, six to seven hours. Um, it's got the most beautiful kind of sillage. When you put this on and you walk out of your house and you catch a waft of it coming up, it's so classy and pretty and a little bit sexy and effortless and it's just beautiful. It's it's kind of got that same vibe as Baccarat Rouge 540 in the sense that it's a wow perfume. It's kind of a wow factor, pretty, beautiful. I can't say it's super, super unique because people who've smelt this um, definitely picked up on the Love by Killian thing right away. I picked up on it right away. So I can't say it's never been done. I can't say it's super unique, um, but it's gorgeous. And yeah, I don't know. This one's really going to give me a run for my money because as you guys know, I'm working on um, minimizing my collection. I'm working on kind of decluttering and trying to get it down to like a small feasible number of perfumes. And of course, this was not one that I went out and bought myself. It wasn't one that I actively chose to bring into my collection. Um, I don't know, you guys. This one's really going to give me a run, like as in I might want to bring it into my top 40 to 50 for life um, kind of thing. So anyway, I'm currently sitting at about 51-ish perfumes, not including these ones. Um, and yeah, this one, I, I really have to give it some thought. I really have to wear it a few times and see how I feel about it because I think it's absolutely stunning. And I'm just kind of like on the fence because I got rid of the Love by Killian. It's very similar to Love by Killian. And at the same time, it's absolutely stunning. But you guys, if you like Love by Killian, if you like sweet, beautiful, unique floral fragrances, then you want to give this one a shot. It's absolutely stunning. It really, really is stunning. Um, and maybe you're not a Killian fan. Maybe you want something a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more floral, not so cloyingly sweet. And maybe you're a Raja fan. I would definitely give that one a shot. Okay. And lastly, we have the one that everybody is probably waiting to hear about. So first of all, I have to say thank you so much to one of my beautiful subscribers. If you're watching, you know who you are. She sent me a decant of this fragrance and I'm so grateful that she did that. That was so kind of her because because this is not an inexpensive perfume. So thank you so much. So this is Fragrance du Bois Minuit et Demi. So this is Demi Rawlings um, collaboration with Fragrance du Bois and this was their first fragrance that they came out with together. I believe that it did debut for the first time last year and they are bringing it back for March this year. And I'm not sure if it's available to purchase again or not. I haven't really been keeping up with it. Um, this is a fragrance that a lot of people have been asking my thoughts on asking me to review. This fragrance is basically a warm, spicy, gourmand fragrance. It is absolutely beautiful, you guys. I do have to say it is a beautiful fragrance. This fragrance, you guys, actually packs quite a punch. So in the opening of this fragrance, you have cardamom, pimento, and bergamot. And pimento is like um, a red pepper, a very fiery, hot pepper. And then you also have that cardamom. So it gives it a little bit of that spiciness. And then you have that really interesting kind of red, fiery kick from the pimento. In the middle you have caramel and coffee and in the base you have Madagascar vanilla, vanilla again, cinnamon, tobacco, cashmere, and musk, vetiver, and cedar. And what I get from this you guys, I do have it on a piece of paper here. It's a beautiful, very spicy fragrance. I think it's definitely unisex and I think in the opening it does lean masculine 
for sure. I think the cardamom and the pimento definitely give it a masculine kick. It then does become very warm, very sweet, very caramel, very vanilla. It does have that really strong gourmand quality about it. But then it's also got this really warm, interesting, unique quality to it because of that cedar and that tobacco and that vetiver. It does have quite a lot of depth. It's got a lot of character. Like I said, it's actually got pretty good performance. I have to say like one or two small sprays of this lasted me pretty much all day. Um, it wasn't, it's not a beast. It's not something that's going to fill a room. Um, it's definitely a little bit softer, probably at least about a meter away. You're going to be projecting. I actually, I really like it. You guys, I do really like it. But again, I don't think that this is exactly my type, like my cup of tea. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I have had a hard time with some of those deeper fragrances, especially like oud fragrances, spicy fragrances. There's some that I love, like I love the way they smell. Like for instance, Nishane Annie, I love the way that one smells. Absolutely love it. But I found that it was still a little too spicy to the point that I just couldn't enjoy wearing it as much. And I think that's what would happen with this one. I think this is gorgeous. I think it's very sexy. I would love to smell this on a man. I think this would be such a delicious like sexy date night fragrance for a guy and even for a woman but for myself I just I tend to go more a little bit into the feminine direction that's just my personal taste but I think that a lot of men and women out there would absolutely love this and it is a beautiful scent I think that given the fragrances I've smelt from Fragrance Dubois, given what I know about the company, I don't think that this disappoints. I think this is a great fragrance and I think that they did a really good job. Yeah, so I have nothing bad to say about this one actually. Um, this gets a two thumbs up from me. Like I say, it's not exactly my taste, um, but I can't complain about the performance and the scent itself is really, really beautiful. So yeah, basically a sweet, um, a sweet gourmand with a little bit of a woodiness and a little bit of a tobacco and it is really nicely blended. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful fragrance. So, so yeah, I will say I'm impressed. I'll say that it's better than I thought it was going to be. I'll say it's probably, yeah, I think it's, I think it's really, really good. I think that they did a phenomenal job on it. And, um, I say way to go for Demi. Um, congratulations to her. And yeah, I think that they did a really, really nice job with this scent actually. So that was it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these fragrances. If you have tried them yourself, please let me know down below. Also, if you have any questions on them, I would be more than happy to answer those for you down below as well. And if you haven't already, feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram where I do share a lot of little tidbits of my life that I don't usually share here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.